Right, we're going to take a slightly closer look at uh, these Akitak bipods. Um, now, I've used quite a lot of bipods in the past. Um, Harris copies, um, the various uh, Atlas um, copies that are around. Um, and then, um, obviously, I've got the uh, Spartan uh, Javelin bipod. A carbon fiber one, and then I bought this Akitak bipod, and this one is the. Let me just put all the light on so I throw it on. This is the FC G2. It's a BR4 G2 actually, and. Uh, these BR4 G2s, second generation one, really, really good bipod if you target shooting. Um, now this one, as you can see, it's got a really wide stance on it. Legs extend out. And when the legs extend out, you've got a really, really wide stance on there, which gives you a very, very stable shooting platform. Um, both of them have got really nice QD, quick releases for Picatinny rails and it's a beautifully machined QD as well it's nice and smooth adjustable with a little knob on the side to get it just tight enough nice brass fitting on the uh, lever throw so you get a nice tight fit on the on your uh, Picatinny rail on the bottom this one has got both panning and tilt and the throw leaves on these lock up really tight when you lock them down they proper lock down and they're so solid it means absolutely no movement at all when you lock them down or you can loosen them off a little bit and leave a little bit of tension in them so you can still move them put this tension there um, they're fitted on really nice bearings, everything's really, really well made. The bearing surfaces are lovely on them, there's no rough play in them, there's no snagging, no catching. Everything's very smooth and very, very solid. Like I said, the legs on this give a really, really wide stance. And they can be adjusted for their uh, angle as well. So you can have them sitting out in the front and spring loaded so you press these little button on the side here this little lever and they shoot back in rubber feet unscrew so you can put a variety of feet on you can put sled on spikes on or um, like little gripped feet as well. So that's the BR4 G2. The mill spec anodized as well. So the anodized one was really good. Now that one is, it's really got a fantastically wide stance on it, which is ideal if you target shooting. Because you've got a really, really good, super solid. Especially when you lock it out, super solid wide base to shoot off. Really, really good. But for hunting, because it's so wide, it can be a little bit cumbersome. And also it's got a bit of weight behind it. Because these things are proper chunky. They've got an extremely good warranty with them as well. So and you can also feel the strip them. All these legs here undo with these. They've got Allen keys on there, undo them, and you can field strip them, regrease them, or if you've dropped them in water or got them particularly filthy, you can field strip them out, dry them down, reassemble them, and it's dead easy. So the whole thing's field strippable if you want to regrease the bearings in here or whatever. Um, but that particular model, whilst it's very handy for target shooting because it's so wide and quite you know, useful if you're shooting from a hide or something, or you set yourself up in a blind and aren't intending to move around very much. Very, very handy. 
But if you're doing more mobile hunting, where perhaps you're going to be carrying it around a bit, it's perhaps not the best. Even though you can lock it out and obviously fold the legs out in front, you've still got a fairly uh, a fairly bulky lock these out. Bear with me a minute. Not like stick. These things are properly built to last. So you can see when you lock it away, it's still quite wide. So it takes up a lot of room. It's not the easiest of things in the world to pack away. And you certainly couldn't put um, that on your rifle and put it in your gun case because it's just, it's just too wide. So I also got this one. And this is the, what's this called? This is the BR4. It's a generation two one again. And this is a much lighter version of the same thing, really. Again, you've still got a pretty decent um, base. Still got a fairly decent base on it. Um, and this has only got the tilt. This has only got tilt. There's no uh, no cant on this one. We do make one of these with a cant, but again, it's you know it ends up despite it's a bit narrow stance, admittedly, but it still ends up a fairly weighty bulky item when you put the cant on. So I just like this one. It's just got the tilt, and it's a much narrower base when you fold it up. Let's show you what I mean. They fold easier on the rifle because you've got something to go on with. But that, as you can see, if that's folded up underneath your rifle, it's a lot neater and a lot tidier than that one. You can see the difference there when you folded them up. Different stances on. Again, same feet. Unscrew, you can replace them again. Uh, in each box you get a spare set of feet as well with these, you get a spare set of rubber feet, they're the same as these, they're not a different type of foot, but you get two sets of these rubber feet in case you wear them away. Um, and again, this one's a fair bit lighter, but just as solid. I've never had a bipod as solid as these things. They are built like the proverbial tank. They're made for full bore rifles, um, and indeed you can take the weight of pretty much any full bore rifle you could possibly think of but they're really really nice really good so top quality bit of kit from Accutac the anodizing is really good on them um, I mean like there's not a mark on this one I've had this one a fair old while now I use it all the time um, it's my favourite one for zeroing in or pellet testing nice wide stance like I say nice and solid once you've locked it out that's going nowhere and this one has become my uh, little hunting one. Um, particularly like this fitted to my Matador, my R5M. Um, it really suits that rifle. And it's a really, again, it gives it a really good, stable platform. You know, these are going nowhere. They're proper made to last. They're not a cheap um, fall to bits or wobbly uh, bipod. Once these are locked out, Everything is rock solid on them. They're really good. They give a really, really good stable shooting platform. Uh, massively impressed with them. I really am. Akitak, I think. I've got to say, I think these are probably the best bipods that I've ever seen. I think these are fantastic. Both of them for their own different fields. This makes a great hunting bipod. And this one makes a great bipod for setting up your sights, pellet testing, long range target shooting, or if you're sat in a, in a blind somewhere, or a hide, and they've got a, you know, you're not a more static position where you're not moving around. So there you go, two Akitak bipods. The FC G2, 
and the BR4 G2. Really good. They come in really good quality boxes to store them away in once you finish using them. And they carry a great warranty. They really do. They've got a great warranty and all field strippable. So easy to repair if anything should go wrong. Um, but believe you me, you would have one heck of a job to get anything to go wrong with these. They are so, so solid. Everything's solid. It's got a, everything's got a really durable feel to it. And that uh, mill spec anodizing is really, really durable. Made in the States, completely made in the States. Um, everything's made in the States on the castings, they're assembled in the States, designed in the States. Just a really, really good bipod. They do make other other ranges. Um, they make different fittings as well as the uh, QR quick release ones. And they make an even heavier gauge even wider sitting one than this um, that's made for heavy gauge sort of 50 cal um, long range rifle shooting um, but this is the lightest one that they make this is the smallest most compact one so if you're at, in the market for a really good quality that i'll just add now they are very expensive that is the only downside to them they are expensive but once you've bought them that's it because you're not going to break that that's not going to come loose it's not going to you know after you've used it 10 or 15 or 20 times it's not going to be rattling about and need to constantly tighten up screws or pull it apart to re-lubricate it or have rough edges or just poorly put together like some of the copies are these things will last you well last you forever probably can't see anything going wrong with them and they're so easy to care for you know, there's nothing to go wrong on, and if you do need to lube them, everything's easy to pull apart and easy to lubricate. So really, really top, top grade items. Can't speak highly enough of them. Really, really good. Top notch bit of tea. Thanks for watching.